and we're back so thank you guys for coming back to check out my channel and today I'm going to record maybe a, a video that is shorter than the usual uh, but it's still relevant which is um, I have if you are following my Instagram if you're not uh, you should follow here because there I showed who is following me or the ones who follow the hashtags that the I did um, kind of a bulk uh, big development of several rolls around 12 rolls between 35 millimeter and uh, medium format film and it was all color um, I hadn't I have developed color before but I stopped just because um, I was I was not shooting color all, all that much, so my chemicals were just went to, went bad. So I develop a few, then the, the mix and the, the 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 mixed chemicals and the ones that were left in the bottle will just go go nasty. Um, I don't know if that's my problem or it can happen to other people, but um, and uh, so the the chemicals just kind of went and went bad in storage. I kept them cool and in dark places, but it just went bad um, either on the actual already mixed chemicals or the ones that were ready to get mixed. So if you, I've, I have been using the tetanol kit, I'm happy with it, nothing wrong with that. But since I was not shooting that much, I'm going back to shooting more, but because now I have the wheel and the time but the chemicals were just going bad um either the already mixed ones or the uh, ready to be mixed afterwards ones and that was just a waste of money and uh, a waste of film because i shot the i shot the film i developed the film and things just either went really nuts so i had to think of a way to preserve the chemicals well i can shoot more but i want to get at my own pace so one thing it, it came to my mind is that how can one idea that I had because if this idea can save wine from going bad because of the excess oxygen on the or excess air if you want to call it in the bottle why can't this protect my chemicals also because that's the main enemy of chemicals of, that we use to develop film is that they get damaged by air oxygen what I want to call it so I went to my previous um, experience uh, with, uh, not that I'm a wine connoisseur, but I have some knowledge. So I said, well, well I had an idea based on that. And that idea, it's this kit here. So I don't really know the name of this in English, but it's a vacuum pump, vac vacuum pump cork well i will put this as a screenshot on, on the screen now with the link to the amazon link um, with it so you can just buy this and what this does is when uh, you are in, in when you drink your bottle of wine and you don't want to drink it all at once for some reason and you want to save it for the next day what you do here is that you put this on the wine bottle then you put this on the top and you suck out the uh, excess air and when you and you want to drink the wine again you just uh, put this to the side and then you can uh, take it out because this is this is going to create a vacuum w between the cork and the, the, the liquid so no wire you, can, you can re will remove all the air so we have no oxidation and when you remove it you just put this to the side and this will and release um, the cork so you can remove it and the wine it's as good as it was at when you actually open it so this ex if this works for wine why not for my chemicals so that's what I did so this is I'm not going to open this one because this is the unmixed thing so I'm going to, I'm going, I'm going to shoot the front because there's the brand here so here you can um, see so this is already used to mix one liter so it was around about there somewhere then i just squeezed the air out and i could squeeze more so probably you don't want cannot see the, the level but the chemical is around here so there is a little space i could squeeze more but if, if i risk it then i will pull out and the liquid will start coming out from this from this from the this 
the, the, this, the cork. So if you suck out too much, then uh, this will just start to pour out the, the, the chemical. But I can do just one, just a little bit more. So let me just put my camera down a little bit. So you just do things like that. Then you squeeze. And that's I don't I'm not going to do anything anymore. So now there is um, a very very little amount of air here. I could squeeze just a tiny bit more. Every time I squeeze, the liquid will come up. Okay. So that's even less air in, inside there. So I think this is. So it's really, really touching the cork now. So in that the, the, the water is all bent <laughs> because it squeezed all the air. Now I have no air or just a little bit, just a small amount here, which I will consider it to be harmless. So just a tiny bit more. Okay, I'm not going to risk it because if I, if I do any more, or more aggressively, this will just start to pour, come out from these little holes here. But now there is a little or next to none amount of air here, and this will preserve the chemicals for I'm not sure I'm not sure how for how long, but for quite a long for a few months at least. I can do a new mix when my current mix ex, uh, gets exhausted. So here I have a bottle. It doesn't have wine but it has i haven't did its name here so this is the blix and i did the same so since this is a um a glass bottle so i can do it and this will just stop because there is no way i can't squeeze anymore and there is no air here so this is will will be several weeks or months safe to use on next so um one simple trick you can do this with black and white too this isn't just not for this is not just for color uh so if you buy this kit i'm going to put the image here already already done before you buy this it, it will just squeeze out all the air or excess excess excessive air from your containers i know there are those that you can um those black bottles that you can squeeze and they get smaller but i hate those just because since i had those crevices dirt and it will get dirty within the crevices and it's, cre it's almost impossible to clean, out, clean them out and uh, with uh, with the um, glass bottles you can easily clean it with just uh, a little sponge or something like that you can put within it and just scrape it or just buy new ones. This is a one euro bottle, so just buy new ones. So no worries there. So I know there, there were the ones that you can squeeze and they get smaller, but they get all dirty and in the crevices you need to remove off. I hate those, they, they went to the trash and I hate those. These ones, it's, they are really easy to clean up. You can also use the scrub that is used for the the baby bottle and you can clean it really easily. That's no, no issues there. Then you just squeeze the, squeeze the, the air out with these things you just squeeze it and the air it's out and it should be good for weeks or months to come so that's it for now i hope you enjoyed this uh, little tip and i see you next time